So this short video is just sort of how to set up ChemDraw, uh, which is the sort of most popular program that chemists use for drawing chemical structures. Um, when you, luckily Center College has a license so that everybody can use this for free. So hopefully you, if you've gotten this far, hopefully you've been able to download it and open the program. What you do when you open the program is you see this a screen uh, that looks like this. You can go through and see some of the different features. Um, this top menu has some fairly standard uh, open and close, saving. Um, but the most important one here is the document settings. Um, there are a lot of different document settings from how the page is laid out, what sort of headers and footers you might have, what's the chain angles, bond spacing, line width, captions, atom labels, property labels, how reactions are displayed. So the easiest thing is to not do this manually, but instead get the document settings that someone else has set up. So I tend to use the American Chemical Society document settings that were originally set up in 1996. These other ones here are from different other journals from around the world. Uh, because I'm generally in the United States, I'm going to use the American Chemical Society document settings. Um, other things here uh, in this menu will become a little bit more obvious um, as we start to use them more in subsequent videos. Um, in this section, uh, these are the different drawing tools that you'll use. And uh, once again, we'll become more familiar with them. Some of these are more useful for organic chemistry, especially these down here. Others are more useful for any type of chemistry. These uh, uh, this menu up here is most useful for when you are playing around with any kind of text. And then here is just some shortcuts for saving and, and, and printing the document. Um, I use a 200% magnification just because my eyes are old. So um, the last thing that I will tell you is that this program is a whole lot easier to use if you have a mouse. So you may want to break out that mouse that you probably haven't used in a while. Uh, trackpads uh, don't work really well for this. So the next um, video will talk about how to use this program to draw an inorganic molecule.